Welcome to Royal News Updates. OMG. Pray for our Queen. Palace confirmed sad news about Queen's health, what happened on our Queen. Before we start, please, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. A royal expert has pinpointed a telling sign about the Queen as a number of new engagements were revealed. A number of significant events in the Queen's diary have been made public today. The monarch, 95, is due to attend a diplomatic reception at Windsor Castle on March 2, the annual Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey on March 14 and a service of thanksgiving for Prince Philip on March 29. The Daily Mail's royal editor Rebecca English said on Twitter that the Queen hopes to attend the three events. Former BBC royal correspondent Peter Hunt retweeted her post and added, the palace's use of the words hopes to attend is telling and an acknowledgement the Queen has become frailer in recent months. Meanwhile, the Daily Express's royal correspondent Richard Palmer said, it's likely we'll see less of her but the Queen's returning to more than light duties. Concern for the Queen's health was heightened after she was forced to cancel a series of high-profile engagements last autumn. The monarch was advised to undertake light duties only after a night in hospital. Her Majesty held her largest in-person engagements since then at the weekend as she welcomed members of the Sandringham community to her Norfolk home to celebrate her Platinum Jubilee. The beaming monarch, who carried a walking stick, looked radiant as she kept guests entertained with a number of amusing jokes. The Queen met former Sandringham estate workers, charity volunteers and colleagues from the Sandringham branch of the Women's Institute. Earlier today, Her Majesty flew by helicopter back to Windsor Castle the day after Accession Day. She hopes to attend a diplomatic reception at her Berkshire residence on March 2. Around two weeks later on March 14 she plans to make an appearance at the annual Commonwealth Service at Westminster Abbey. And on March 29 she is due to attend the service of thanksgiving for the Duke of Edinburgh, also at Westminster Abbey. A source said, in addition, Her Majesty will be resuming her normal duties of audiences, credentials and Privy Council meetings, continuing to mix both virtual and in-person events. In a message for her Platinum Jubilee, the Queen renewed her 1947 pledge to the nation and Commonwealth that my life will always be devoted to your service. Celebrations for the Queen's 70 years on the throne will take place throughout 2022 but will be focused on an extended four-day bank holiday weekend kicking off on Thursday, June 2nd. Festivities will include Trooping the Colour, a service of thanksgiving for the monarch's reign, a star-studded concert will be staged from Buckingham Palace and the Platinum Jubilee pageant in the capital. Thanks for watching, please. Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe to Thanks. our channel.